Uh, welcome back to Calls KRC. Yes, we've got another plane. This is the AXN Floater from Hobby King. It used to be known as the AXN Floater Jet. It came out a good few years ago, then they stopped making it and recently they've got it back in stock and they slightly changed it. There's not too much changes from what it is apart from the fact it's now not called a jet. It's just called a floater. So let's open the box and have a look inside. So you get obviously two wings. Let's just take everything out of the box. So you obviously get your top, your Y lead, your pop adapters, and this is a spar for the wings. Get rid of the box. So this is the fuselage. Quite slim, as you can see, it's slim. Really, really smooth for home. I've never felt for home really this smooth. Very kind of Bixler-esque, I suppose. But these things have a really good reputation for being extremely nice, smooth flyers, especially for beginners. So the battery bay here, which I'll discuss more with you when I do the build, when I show you the build, and I'll go through the rest of the specs with you. And the motors on the back, again, I go through the specs when I do the when I show you the build. But it's really nice the way the motor's held in. There's no wire showing like you get on a lot of these. And you can see the ESC is running down inside there and it's buried inside there. Two 9 gram servos feeding the tail. So the tail has non-adjustable links on, so these just clip on. And then what you have is adjusted, you adjust them with the Allen key there and get them to the right distance. So you've got enough, so you've got perfectly level. And then this one is made ridiculously long, which I'm going to have to chop down because I do know this has a weak point, and it's got a weak point, you can quite clearly see where it is, it's here. So this point's weak, so what you can use is some packing foam from another plane that I've got in the garage. I'm going to cut that down, and I'm going to glue it in across here to make this bit stronger. Not all the way, just there and there, and probably put a bit on the base just to make it stronger and give it a bit more support. There's no room in this really to put a flight controller in and you'd have to open something up to do that because it's quite tight in there as it is. Comes with an XT60 connector on and then your standard servo leads there going from the ESC and the two rears. Here's your elevator. It's, got, it's just foam hinges all the way around and as you can see it comes with the horns on because these are the ones that just clip in you can see there and then this is the only bit that glues so you glue that and this in at the same time onto the tail of this you can see that's where your rods come through for your servo so I've got the wings got one open I can't very open one yet so the wings come pre-installed with everything. So the stickers are on, which I do look like hit point stickers on. The servo and the linkages have actually already set up. Obviously I don't know how accurate these things are, but they don't look bad. The servos look to be quite central there. So you'd hope that they won't be a million miles out, maybe it's a turnout or something. Stickers are well, well put on, and I do like the look of this. I like the look of the wings, the other one. Obviously just says floater on it. Now the wings are quite a strange arrangement. So the wings, if you look, they push in. I don't have to put the right side on. So they push in place like that. And then the other one just pushes into it because it's like a, a jigsaw effect. So they push into each other. No screws, no glue. And then to get them out, you just pull them apart which I like the idea of. This is 1280mm wingspan, so it's not huge, but it's a good size in the air. And as, it, as you might guess, it floats quite well. The wings feel quite strong, actually. I thought they might not do it because the, the length of them, they don't look to have too much strength in there. It's got, comes out, it's got a, looks like it's got a plywood spire in there, but it's not got carbon fibre all the way into the end. And I did think I might have to put them in. But no, they look good. If you ever do need to put carbon fibre strengthening in, if you look on the internet you can buy strips, so you can buy 2mm by half a mil, which is very thin indeed, but you just cut it open with a knife and you just push that inside and just run a bit of hot glue over the top, it gives it much more rigidity, but I don't think I need to do that on this wing, it feels quite good. 
feel bad at all. But it is a good idea if you want to do that. So I'm going to take it away and build it, and then when it's built, I shall bring it back and show it you. Okay, so as you can see, it's built by our wood wing, and the reason I've the wing is just to show you how it goes on. Ridiculously easy build. Probably the easiest build I think I've ever had to do. So let's just show you at the back of this. So if you look here, all you do is clip that into there before you glue it on, and the same underneath. Clip it on before you glue it, and then just, all I've done is hot glue that in place. Really simple. So the wings, all you do is take your wire lead up there, put one wing in. There's nothing to hold your carbon tube in place. Look, it's just fully floated in there. So all you do is that. You get your other wing. Push the carbon tube through the wing. Connect up your wire lead. Push it into the hole. And then simply push them home and that's it. They're locked together. That's all you have to do. And then to get them all you do is grab that and we'll give it one good tug and it will come out. So it really was the easiest build ever. It's 1280 mil. it's got a 5x5 prop on here. It seems to have quite a bit of thrust when I've just powered it up. Let me just show you in here. So all I've done is I've mounted a ORX receiver, pushed it up inside here. And the only other thing is the battery. So the battery feels like it's going to rip the foam when you're pushing it in. 2200 or 1300. If you put 1300 or 1500 in here, centre gravity is out. You're gonna have to put something on the um, some more weight in the front. 2200, it feels absolutely perfect. The so 2200 will just slip in there. It feels like it's not gonna, but it grips it nice and tight and gives it a perfect CG. Just put that back down there. And the canopy just magnet on there. So it really was an easy build. The quality looks okay. I'd rather it had hinges rather than just the foam on there. But it's a cheap plane. It's not an expensive plane. The only thing I had to do is. Obviously when you're putting them on, I'll show you this, make sure you undo the two, make sure you undo these here, 1.5mm Allen key you need, undo them so they're loose, then you can pull the, the wires to whatever length you want these wire coming through. Once you've got them in place, tighten that up again when you servo the centre, so easy to do. So you have to set them up and I found out the wings were, they're actually quite a bit out these wings. So they'd obviously set them up the servos and push rods came in but they were quite a bit out. So yeah, it feels nice. I might put a piece of carbon fibre through here. Like I said the other day, I've got some um, three by half a mil strips so I might just cut that open and put a little bit of carbon fibre in there because it feels ridiculously weak. But I think, I believe it flies well anyway, but I think I'll probably do that. So the build, easy. The quality looks quite decent. The proof's going to be in the pudding when we fly it. I'll get it up shortly. The weather's not the best here today, uh, so I'll get it. I'll get a flight video. Up. But so far, yeah, I really like it. It went together so easy. This is going to be the perfect starter plane. Certainly, if you've never built one before, you can't get much easier than this because it really was that easy to build. And the other thing is, it doesn't come with a manual, but the manual is available to download on Hobby King. So if you're looking at Hobby King and you're looking to buy this, you've got a tab that will say manuals, etc. If you click on that, the, the manual is under here. If you've never flown before, the manual is fantastic. It tells you how to set your throws up, what they should be, how to set your weights up, make sure you, so you've got it stable for when you're flying your, your first flight, what not to do, how to launch this. It really is a good manual. It's been well wrote. It's been definitely wrote for a beginner. So as a beginner plane, so far it looks good. There's obviously the Bixler out as well. I'll have a review of the Bixler at some point, but this for me looks fantastic. Looks very much like a Bixler anyway, but let's get it flying and let's have a look. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.